So as I'm getting ready to pack up and go home, I see this announcement. Actually, before I even seen the announcement, I got a text from uh, Creative Ryan, and he said that my dreams came true. And I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. And then he proceeded to text Canon C80, so I had to go look and see. And then I'm like, all right, well, can't pack just yet. I gotta make this video, even though I actually started not to. All right, so the sensor and resolution. The Canon C70, as y'all know, at this point, y'all should know, it has a DGO sensor, uh, Super 35. The Canon C80 changes that with a four frame back illuminated stack sensor. Pretty much a fancy way of saying that it's better in low light, I guess, but I personally like the DGO sensor because of the way that it handled like the highlights and the shadows. So it like take the two images and then just kind of like balance it out. So the, um, the dynamic range on the camera was crazy, but Nah, we'll see what happens when, it, when the camera comes out. I'm super curious, but to, speaking about the low light thing, that's gonna lead us into the ISO, which um, to be honest, I feel like the Canon C70's low light was trash. You had to have it in optimal lighting or otherwise the autofocus was just all over the place. And then you introduce a lot of grain. The um, Canon C70 or Canon C80 has the same sense, same sensor as the C400, so the triple base ISO 800, 3200, 12800. Should be a lot better in low light if you know anything about Sony's, and at this point a lot of people do. Sony's great at low light and with their, um, you know, dual base ISO, I think it's um, 800, and then it like jumps up to 6400 or 12800. I'm not sure because I don't shoot Sony, but it's really great in low light once it resets that um, that base ISO. So I'm curious to see how Canon handled the triple base ISO. And being that the C400, at least at the time of recording this video, is not out yet, we don't really know. So I'm looking forward to it. Another thing that I'm looking forward to is the autofocus, and I just kind of touched on this point in the last one, but the autofocus in non-optimal lighting with the c70 is trash period um at least that's my experience some people you know they have different settings or they do things a little bit different and it works for them but for me it's trash so with the c80 they're using dual pixel cmos autofocus 2. that's just a fancy way of saying that the autofocus is better because I'm not gonna say that over and over and over again, but the C70 was using just dual pixel autofocus. So in terms of the media, nothing changes. It's just like the C70, it's dual, um, dual SD cards, V90 preferably. The C400 is actually doing like the R5 and the R5 Mark II with the CF Express and SD cards, which I still feel like the, the R5 Mark II should have had two CF Express cards. I also feel like the C400 should have had two CF Express cards, but that's just me. Then the price, the price of the C80 is going to be $5,500 just like the C70 when it came out. So, I mean, at this point, getting a C70, you can get a C70 for probably like three bands. When I ended up getting mine, I think I got it for 4000 came with some extras or whatever. So at this point, buying a C70 is like, it's going to be like a hot commodity because everybody's either going to want to go get the C70 or the C80 or they're going to want to go get a C400 or both. Me personally, I think I'm going to just stick with the C70, C80 because initially I was going to go and get the c400 um because i thought there was no hope for a for a full frame camera with a rf mount but now they announced this so i don't have to spend eight thousand dollars on a camera i can just spend another fifty five hundred six thousand and get me a new a cam keep my r5 as my b cam that's what i'm filming on right now and then my c70 be my b cam but with all that being said man let me know what y'all think about the c80 if y'all copping it or if you even shoot on canon or whatever the case may have you but i'm about to pack my camera up and go back home like and subscribe for the good vibes